my March 2021 birch box has arrived. It's slightly later this month than it has been in previous months, but it is here now and it is quite a nice design box. Um, International Women's Day this month, obviously that was on the 8th and also it's Women's History Month. So I guess this is celebrating us as fabulous women. So perfection doesn't exist. We've got some nice designs. Um, a peach some bulbs, all kinds of things here, no body shaming, quite nice messages on the box, quite a nice little kind of uh, drawer design to the box as well. Um, and then we have this little thing in here that says I make the rules, Birch Box Reader, it's branded on the box as well. And then on the back of the leaflet it talks about the launch this month of the arrow kit which is an exclusive clean vegan beauty line and it's launching on the birch box shop inside this little uh, booklet as per usual is information about all the products you receive and so i will be going through that as i go through the box this is what it looks like when it's opened up so we have five items in here First up, we have a two-pack of the Magnetone London Wipeout Swipes. These are eco-friendly microfiber makeup removal pads. Removes makeup with just water, but I tend to use them with micellar water. Gets all your makeup off really well, especially in your sensitive kind of areas, like around your eyes and your lips, that kind of thing. And obviously it saves you using cotton pads, which end up going to landfill. Quite nice to have some more of these. Um, I got some in last month's look fantastic box and they're nice and soft and squidgy you can just throw them in the washing machine so having a few of them is quite good because obviously while one lot is washing and drying you can be using the other um looking at the little leaflet a full size pack of these which is six of the swipes is 15 pounds so yeah not blown away but happy to have another little set Next up, we have the Ciate London Moondust Glow 2 Highlighter, which was our little sneak peek for March, in which we could choose which shade we wanted. I chose this shade, which is the darker one, because I thought I'm probably not going to use either of them as highlighters, but I'd prefer this one as a kind of eyeshadow colour. And this is what it looks like swatched on my hand. The price of the full size one of these is £26 apparently that's the rrp i don't know whether this is a full size product to be completely honest with you um the blurb says meet your new glow to highlight for adding instant lip from within radiance to your look this vegan friendly pearlescent oyster tone powder is formulated with patent spherical pigments to give a weightless long wear finish to the ultimate shimmer that lasts sweep across cheek and brow bones bridge of nose or cupid's bow for a soft natural skin enhancing glow wow lay off an intense shimmer effect or in my case, wear it on your eyelids. Next up, we have another female founded company and that is Butanique Beauty. It's the gold angel eye mask. You can see you get to see the kind of outline of the pads in here. So you get two, one for each eye. And the RRP for this full size product again is six pounds. It says, do you often wake up with puffy peepers even after a good night's sleep? Meet your guardian angel. These hydrating green tea and hyaluronic acid infused eye patches brighten even the tiredest of eyes. Also formulated with cucumber to hydrate and rose extract to reduce puffiness. Their unique shape fits under any eye area, targeting fine lines too. And it says, cool. Botanique Beauty is a female founded vegan friendly skincare brand that makes uncomplicated natural skincare. Next up, we have the Balance Me BHA Exfoliating Concentrate. This is also a female-founded company, and this retails for £26 for the full-size product. This BHA, aka salicylic acid-rich concentrate, is a fast-acting leave-on chemical exfoliant. It works on the upper layers of the skin to remove dead skin cells, fight blackheads, blemishes, and enlarge pores, and improve hydration for more youthful-looking, brighter skin. What's more, the calming blend of ingredients does all of this without causing irritation. And it says, that's right, after cleansing, apply over your face, no need to rinse, follow with the rest of your skincare routine, making sure to use SPF. So, although it's like quite a small little bottle, um, it's only 30ml, because it's for your face and you put on a thin layer, it'll probably last you quite a few times anyway. 
last in the box we have the Percy and Reed I Need a Hero Wonder Balm Hair Primer. The RRP for the full size product is £19. It says this hair primer is designed to speed up the styling process, giving you better results that last longer so that you can get back to being the hero of your story. The balm formula works by smoothing each hair strand, which gives you moisture, enhanced shine, smoothness, root boost, definition, softness, light hold, humidity protection and manageability. And it says it's all true. All Percy and Reed products are designed to be simple to use, yet give amazing results. So this is another little 30 mil tube. So probably not going to get too many goes out of this if you've got long hair, but still quite a nice thing to have. Final thoughts. I'm not mad at it, but I'm also not excited. I like that it's celebrating women. I kind of like the products that are in it. They're fine and I will use them, but it just feels a little bit sad, especially since Birchbox was kind of trotting out the Nux wheel prodigious over their Facebook for the last kind of week or so. It feels like it's kind of been slightly thrown together I don't know I just feel a little bit disappointed I have been disappointed with the last couple of birch boxes as well the bag was super cute last month but the contents haven't been great for a little while and I feel that it's now one of the less good kind of beauty subscriptions around this price point I think the value is still there for what you're paying but probably like not that much more um, and we want to feel like we've got a bargain don't we so yeah thank you for watching this video let me know below what you think about it